Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a festival slash springy makeup tutorial. If you guys want to see more makeup tutorials, make sure you subscribe down below. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos this week. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are going to start by priming our face. I'm going to use the Mario Badesco facial spray. And this is with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. So it is the little green one. I just breathed all that in. <coughs> now I'm dying. Um, I really like this as a face primer, actually. Um, I think I like it a little bit better than, like, my traditional ones I've used. Like, the creamy or, like, silicone-y ones. Um, it doesn't clog my pores and it actually gives my skin a little bit more of a boost. It doesn't make me look as dull. Um, I'm starting to move away from being super duper matte. To wanting a little bit of a glow and going a little bit lighter on things um, mainly because my face is deciding to hate me right now um but we're gonna color correct real quick and i'm gonna use a little bit of orange like just a touch underneath my eyes now we're gonna do the green um, I'm finally like running low on this stuff if you guys have been here for a while i think i've had this the entire time I have been on YouTube, um, and I like to pat this with my fingers. I know, like, some people are probably cringing right now because I'm not using a brush or a sponge. I normally do, um, but I'm finding that using my fingers when it comes to the color correcting is just a little bit, like, it works better. It melts it into the skin and I don't use as much. Now we're gonna do the foundation. So like I said, I'm trying a new foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I know a lot of people use this and like it. Um, I ordered this online and so hopefully the color is right. It's in soft ivory. And it comes with like a little spatula and I'm just gonna kinda spread a little bit of this um, and I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation brush. I don't know if I mentioned that. And I think it has decent coverage. Right now, especially, I'm having all these breakouts. So, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's not really covering the orange color correcting. I don't know if you can see right there. Um, the more I blend it, though... The more it seems to kind of cover that up so now we're going to use the new makeup revolution conceal and define concealer i wanted to try this stuff out i saw it um jeffree star used it um and everyone's really hype about it so this is like the first product in a while that i've bought based on hype so we're going to see comes with a giant applicator uh so i got the color C3 and we're gonna see how this works sponge and bounce this out and see how it goes wow it's really good coverage and I obviously chose like a lighter color but I think if like you have a lot of blemishes and you wanted to cover them up you could definitely use this like obviously this one's a little big and kind of you know out of control but yeah I think this would be good I think you can get these as well in like darker colors they have like quite a good range of colors um I think you can get some darker colors and like really contour that's the word I'm looking for uh, but let's set it all with some e.l.f. powder. I'm gonna need new translucent powder soon, and I think I'm gonna try Airspun. Um, just because it's like $7 and you get a giant thing of it. The e.l.f. one is good, but I think it, it doesn't allow you to, like, bake with it, because it's so fine. You actually end up, it just, like, soaks in. But it makes the skin feel really smooth, so I highly recommend that. Alright, now we're gonna do our eyes so i'm just gonna start by 
putting a little bit of a base on them and I'm going to use coconut cream from the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette on a Morphe 412 brush, M412 brush. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going into the same palette with the same brush. And I'm just going to use this color down here called Moose. Just a real nice light brown. And we're just going to put that as our transition color. I want this look to be like really bright and kind of, um, I don't know, like not festival-y, but I guess you could wear it for a festival. Festivals just don't seem like my kind of thing. I'm not very good with the heat and they all seem to be in the desert. Um, and if you don't have like mass amounts of money, it just doesn't seem like something you could really thoroughly go and enjoy. Like I think you would have to save up for it for quite a while. Like I read an article about Coachella and how it's like a thousand dollars to do the VIP thing and that's where you actually have like I think you get like food and drinks but um yeah I, and like cooling stations and stuff I don't do good in heat so I think that it would just not be my scene also there's not a lot of people there that I listen to so like I would go for like Eminem and be like this year I think would have been the year that I would have wanted to go like Cardi B and Eminem and all of them but other than that uh, and obviously Beyonce, but other than that, I'm not, like, a big fan of a lot of popular people at this time. Color in the crease, just to brighten it up, I'm going to take Poppy, which is this orange here from Makeup Geek. Yeah, it's a Makeup Geek color. Um, they always have it in their spring bundle just kind of like wiping off my brushes right now they need cleaned horribly but I just have not had time so I'm gonna use an elf contouring brush I love orange eyeshadow I don't know why I don't know where this love came from but I think it's just so pretty and you can wear it basically like all year spring and fall obviously are like your ideal times but I think this is I think it just looks good on a lot of different skin tones and I think it can look like really spicy or it can be really bright and fun it just depends on how you want to do it like you can make it look real neutral or real bright so we're done with that now I'm going to use the galaxy chic palette from bh cosmetics looks like this i've used it on my channel before but i have really been going back to this palette because i didn't use it a lot when i initially got it and there's not really a reason for it i think i just had like too much stuff at the time so i'm going to take a flat brush like this. this is from sephora and a little bit of setting spray and I just twist the brush while I do it, make sure everything gets all wet. And we're going to go into Electra, which is this light blue. And then we're going to pack this on the lid. You kind of have to like sweep to get it started, but then you can just pack it. Ta-da! And now you have this really pretty like light blue and orange. And I'm just kind of, I don't want to blend it per se I just want to make a clean line so it looks like that I love this color combination all right and now we're gonna put on a little eyeliner I'm not gonna actually do any eyeliner on the lid itself because I don't want to cover up this blue but I'm just gonna take some of this positions formula black liner and kind of line at least the outer edges so there's a little bit of definition and now I'm gonna curl my lashes I got a new curler in a birch box and it's really nice it's way nicer than my little pink one although my little pink one is good for travel because it actually closes the whole way this one does not I've always had an infatuation with eyelash curlers um, I didn't use one for the longest time 
but there was a video that my cousins and I used to watch those little Disney sing-alongs and it was the Halloween one we'd watch it all year long and it had the little girls dressing up as witches and they would curl their eyelashes and they used one like this and we just like loved that part um, now I'm going to use some of this MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. This is a little sample size I got, so we'll give it a shot here. I'm not going to do a whole lot with the contour. Um, I'm just going to use my usual bronzer on a brush. Now I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with this big brush. This is a Real Techniques bronzer brush. And it's just gigantic, but it blends everything in like three swoops. This is the yellow diamonds blush from Ulta, or it's apricot blush and yellow diamond highlighter. So I'm just going to take half and half like this, and we're gonna go this way. Alright, so now that we are highlighted, just a touch, I'm going to add a little bit more to this side. I do. This is the morning after from NYX. And I'm just going to take a little pencil brush. I'm just going to keep it on the outer corner. So I'm going to use this new one. This is from uh, Smashbox. This is the Always On Liquid Lipstick in Driver's Seat. It's got a really big applicator. Alright, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial for this festival slash spring makeup or whatever you want to call it. I hope to see you guys next time and make sure you subscribe before you go. Bye.